serve the owner of the court to come and address us on their behalf and then ours is on advocacy so we work with the committees of parliament when we appear before the committee on gender labor and social development we continuously agitate that they help us to make social protection better in this country at the first people were focusing on nssf people were focusing on the sage people were uh, focusing on the parliamentary pension scheme but we are saying why then this why then this include everybody even when somebody is selling Boboya on the streets, let us teach them to save something for the future. Approximately 43% of the population has a high likelihood of falling into absolute poverty, according to the UNHS uh, 1019 stroke 20. That is to say, they are economically vulnerable. Uh, we also witness support by UNICEF and the rest to uh, women who have children and they give them direct cash support. But this little man has done a lot of wonders. So as we talk about social protection, we are talking about the 360 degrees. From zero to the time of death. When someone is born, the first 100 days, the first 1,000 days, how are you keeping the mother and the baby? Remember, if you don't take good care of them, what will result? Stunting. So social protection is a deep, deep subject. You are working in a factory, a machine cuts off your hand. You become a PWD from nowhere. Yes. For us members of parliament, you lose a, you lose a seat. People run away from you. The voters run away. The people run away. The friends run away. What is going to happen to your family? If you have been having children in, in Budo, you go to take them back to the village. So when we talk about social protection, it's a serious thing. When you are faced by shocks, what are you going to do? So we just have the owner of the court to come and address us on their behalf.